Hey Pisces, thank you for checking out my channel for the love of water to row. It's your girl Keonti and I'm going to go ahead and bring us a love reading. We're going to see what's going on in the love life of Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus as well as the Pisces Cross Watcher. Guys, it is a general read. Everything I say won't resonate for every Pisces on the planet. I'm simply not that gifted, but I am a little gifted. So some things will resonate, other things won't. Make sure you use your intuition and your discernment and put yourself where you go in the energy if you go there at all. If I get it right for you, Pisces, take care of your girl with that like, comment, subscribe, share. If you guys are interested in booking me for a private reading, I absolutely do offer them. Please email me at for the love of water tarot at gmail.com. The information is also provided in the description box below the video. Pisces, I decided to give us a love read and I decided to shuffle and meditate the cards. Everything that's going on in the current is face down. We're going to pull this over together. But I have some very interesting things at the bottom of the deck that's giving me an overall energy about the current state of affairs for our love life. Let's go ahead and get into it. The first card out we have is options. Okay. So what's going on in the, in, in the situation that we got going on in love right now is that there are some options. There could be difficult decisions. I do feel like there's someone who is exploring, exploring the possibilities and there is a fear of, change, of choosing wrong. And that's why under there is paralyzed. So we have someone that is sitting back paralyzed by love and holding back and they have some sort of fear. Could definitely be in the fear of making some sort of wrong choice because we have the option here, right? Next, we have bad reputation. So I do feel like there's an option and a difficult decision dealing with someone who may have a bad reputation or a prickly person or there's something here about the reputation of someone and we'll get into it and we'll find out why but then we have passion ignited and what's funny look and choices is under here see oh my god so that what's really going on here, like the, the whole T of it is there is something, somebody involved that has a bad reputation or some sort of prickly person. But from the heart, the message from the heart is that there's someone who has passion ignited, right? There's an intense sexual desire towards you that is making it hard for them to know the difference between lust and love. And then we have choices under there, right? There's a choice that they need to make, though they know that the, the time is not on their side and it's losing you forever if they don't. Again, put this energy where this goes. Because Pisces, I could be talking about you. I could be talking about someone else. I do have a masculine energy here, for sure. Right? Now, feminine Pisces, this could be a masculine energy you're dealing with. I could be speaking to a masculine energy who's listening. I just have to tell the, just tell the scenario how I see it. There is a masculine energy involved here, right? This is... This is Divine Masculine Energy, Emperor Energy, Aries, Taurus. And then we have the journal, which is always, for me, communication, writing, diary, keeping notes. Oh, and under here is the Empress. Uh-oh. Feminine Energy. Okay. So what's going on right now, Pisces? And you put it where it goes, it does feel like this masculine energy probably is the one that has to make some sort of choice. Pisces, you could be the feminine energy making a choice about this masculine energy, and it could be you have a choice or an option because it's something about this person's reputation here, right? There's no lack of passion, but there could be a choice to make because of, you know, because of this situation. I'm simply speaking to how a man is dealing with some things. Let's go ahead and turn these cards over so I can see what we really got going on here. Yeah, look what the situation is about cutting out. I'm telling you. There's an, there's an energy about behind a door number one or door number two, right? And I do feel like whatever I, whatever option or choice or decision someone makes, like you can't go both ways, right? You can't choose both. So it's this cutting ties and separation, leaving before it gets worse, cutting your losses. This is what someone, this is what someone's options are, whether this is you or someone else's Pisces. Someone does know that they have an option to cut ties, to get out of something before it gets worse, right? Because I do feel like there's, there's an energy with someone with a bad reputation here, right? A prickly person. Y'all see it. I shuffle these off camera, but I'm going to do it in the future in front of all of us. But I definitely didn't know what these messages were going to be before we started. So let's see. In their head, look. Overanalyze, stressed, and overthinking. Pisces, to put this where this goes, because this could certainly be you, or this is someone else. But there's certainly someone that is stressed the f out. They are overthinking, they're stressed, they're overanalyzing, and it's about this decision, this choice that they have to make to cut something out, dealing with someone with a bad reputation, a prickly person. Let's see what else I got for the message from the heart. Message. Oh, oh yeah, this is definitely about communication. Wow. 
they want to message you and explain everything to you, but they know they have to do right by you. Okay. So there is someone that knows that they have a difficult decision to make. You know what's funny to me, Pisces? Because looking at bad reputation, a prickly person, I don't feel like it's a hard decision to make, right? Necessarily. Um, you know, there's if you're dealing with an energy that has a bad reputation or a prickly person, right? Sometimes it's really not a difficult decision. It could be difficult figuring out how to cut out, right? There may not be an energy of someone not wanting to cut out and, and, get, and be in separation. It's going to be difficult figuring out how to do that, right? How to cut ties and leave before it gets worse. There's definitely someone that wants to reach out to someone else, whether this is you or someone, Pisces. They want to reach out to you or you them. Put it where it goes. Let me see what's going on with this masculine energy. Dark part uh, influences, dark attachments, third parties. I told you, there's someone that is now, that is definitely looking at their options. They have some difficult decisions about cutting out this energy. I'm telling you, dark attachments or third parties, put it where it goes, Pisces, because third parties could be of another lover. It could be bad influences. It could be family, whatever the third party situation is. When you're talking about a soulmate connection and there's two, the third party is anything, any party outside of that, right? Let's see what this expression is about. Oh, wow, Pisces, the masculine energy. So here we go. Don't kill the messenger because I simply read the energy. I have two cards of masculine energy here. So let's see what's going on with this guy, Pisces. Put yourself where you go. Again, Pisces, I could be talking to you. You could be a female watching this, and you may have to make some serious decisions, right? And, and a masculine energy simply needs to could be you simply needing to take charge, right? You be the boss. You're the emperor. The butt stop here. But I do feel like... Gender is fluid, but there's masculine energy all over here. So I'm reading this is that this is some decision that a masculine energy is needing to make, right? About dark attachments, third party. This energy is very much in their head, right? And listen, this person could also be stressed out about reaching out and sending some sort of message because this could be their own reputation, right? They they could have ruined their reputation with you, right? They could have a bad reputation. They could know that you see them as a prickly person. This person could definitely want to reach out to you, like I said, and they could be stressed out and in their head about doing it because they know that they have some difficult decisions. There could just be some shit in life they need to cut out, right? It doesn't, yeah, but it's dark. It's dark attachments, right? It, whatever dark attachment that they're attached to that they need to cut out, this person could definitely be all in their head about it. With passion ignited, I do know is that there is passion. There is someone that has passion for someone and definitely wants to express. The cards are telling me I have the journal and the message here in the current. In the current. Let's go ahead and get some tarot on this and see what we get on this. Guys, if I get it right for you, take care of your girl with a like, comment, subscribe, share, send a little prayer, all right? <laughs> I love you guys and I appreciate it so much. Let's go ahead and clarify what this cutout energy is about. Let's, let's see. Because, because the situation is about making difficult decisions. There is someone exploring the possibility. There is someone that has a fear of choosing wrong. But I do feel like the... The situation has everything to do with cutting ties, being in separation, leaving something before it gets worse, and cutting their losses. Give me some for this energy for Pisces, for love. The Five of Swords. Now, see, the Five of Swords is, definitely feels like mental manipulation, mind games. It's, it, it, the Five of Swords is indicative of a third-party situation, even though in this deck there isn't three people here. But usually on the Five of Swords, there's typically three people on it, right? This feels like a sense of defeat. Like this person is feeling a sense of defeat. And if this is not about a third party situation, this may be something, whatever dark attachment that they feel like is leaving them defeated. Right? Yes. Look what's under here. The five of wands. I'm telling you. There's a battle. And here's the wheel of fortune on the other side. If you're dealing with Sagittarius energy, it's something about changing things. Time for some sort of change. Right? For sure. Yeah. Here you go, the Queen of Cups under here, Pisces. Ooh wee. Let's see what they're in their head about. Now again, Pisces, this person is either stressed out and in their head, uh, overthinking and overanalyzing, making a situation, uh, dealing with making a difficult decision about uh, uh, energy that they're dealing with. That's a bad reputation or a prickly person. Well, this person is stressed and in their head because you you're think you're, you see them this way, and they know that. And there could definitely be someone knowing that they that they need to make some difficult decisions and cut out some sort of behavior here. 
but they could definitely be stressed in, in their head because of you see them as this bad, this this prickly person. Let's just see what comes out. Let's see what the nine of swords is. This person is having sleepless nights. So like headaches probably too. Give me another one. Justice, you could be dealing with the Libra. This person is all in their head here with this swords energy. This could be a legal situation for real with justice. Could be dealing with the lever there could be some karma involved here right someone could be feeling like they're getting some sort of karma for dealing with someone with a bad reputation or a prickly person right someone could be feeling like they they need to cut this out there could also be an energy of justice how can they make something right with you how could they balance some sort of scale with you because if this is a person who you see as a prickly person they are aware of that the Ten of Cups is here and the Knight of Pentacles here. This could be dealing with family, right? This could be dealing with long-term stability. You got water and earth energy here. Let's get one on this message that they want to send you. They want to message you and explain everything to you. But they know that they have to do right by you. And see, this is the justice. Like this, this, this person could know that this person may be well aware that the only way they'll be able to reach you is if they cut this, if they cut that out. I don't know, Pisces. I just heard cut that out. And it's and they know. They know that they have to do right by you. They may know that they have to cut something out for sure. They may, it may be a difficult decision for them. It's a dark attachment or dark influence or third party, right? Put it where it goes. Put it where it goes. I feel like it is a masculine energy coming up feeling this way, but we'll see. We'll see. All right. Let's go ahead and clarify this message here. Spirit for Pisces. What is this message about for the baby sharks? And this is, this is what's going on in the current. We're going to clarify the near future. Give me some for this message energy. What's this message about the five of cups? This person is disappointed in some ish. Yeah, this person has been hiding it too. Yeah, ten of wands. This person has definitely been feeling overburdened, feeling like they're carrying a lot of burdens. But I'm hearing back breaking. I'm breaking my back, right? They're disappointed. Seven of cups. I feel like there's something about this person... This person could type out a message to you and then don't send it or they or they they fantasize or they like have you know have you ever in your head thought of telling someone someone like planning how a conversation would go I feel like this person is definitely disappointed about some things there's three cups spilled there could be three situations that this person is disappointed about three people that this person is disappointed about or we, I, I stick by that. That could definitely be it. But I feel like this person also, um, in their mind, they, they imagine sending you some sort of message here for sure. Yeah. I feel like you're. I feel like the Ten of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles, Pisces, probably symbolizes this person would probably wants to definitely have a new beginning with you. But I feel like with the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, this is kind of where you're at, right? You're definitely feeling very focused very stable you're feeling secure and i feel like with the ace of pentacles yeah because the ace of wands is under here too pisces i definitely feel like you there's something about you and they can see you this way but i do feel like you are you are in this energy like with the nine of pentacles the eight the ace of pentacles and the ace of wands i just feel like there's kind of you, you you're there's an optimism about the future dealing with you with the eight of pentacles there's something about your your future it's very op optimistic in the future for, for uh for you i see a, a new abundant beginning i see an ace of wands i see you working very hard to solidify some things for yourself i love this for sure i feel like this person wants to send this message out to you I feel like they're disappointed, though, with the Five of Cups. I feel like that's what they would want you to know. I do feel like this person may want a new opportunity with you. This could be them wanting to do that. They, they're holding this back, though. I see a seven, uh, seven of Cups, Four of Pentacles. They're holding on to something. Let's see what the dark attachment in the third party is about here. Damn, I thought I was going quickly. What's this about here for Pisces? The Two of Wands. See, this is, this is the option. This is needing to pick a direction and go there. The hangman, this could definitely be surprising someone who is coming directly towards you or this person is trying to figure something out with the hangman. Yeah, you're here. The hangman, the queen of cups, judgment. Yeah, there, there's definitely an energy of someone want, wanting to go in a different direction from dark attachments, influences, or third parties. Pisces, the hangman, and the queen of cups makes me feel like you are definitely kind of 
chilling in your own energy. It just feels like an energy that wants to come towards you with judgment for some sort of second chance here. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Yeah. Yeah, they someone's ready to make some sort of change for sure. Let's get one on this masculine energy. Then I'm gonna get into this near future. Yeah, tell me what this tell me more about this masculine energy. It says here twice that there's a masculine energy that wants to come to that wants to communicate something here. That wants to send a message here. Give me one for this masculine energy here for the current. The Knight of Cups, yeah. So there is some, there is uh, love and passion that a masculine energy here is giving off here for sure. For sure, the Knight of Cups. And then here's the passion. And, and if it's coming off of this person having choices to make, telepathy. This is somebody could definitely be trying to communicate with you in the 5D. For sure. For sure. But here's the Seven of Swords. So there's something very mysterious about this that you don't know. The star could be an Aquarius, the Hierophant, the moon. What is this? The lovers, all these freaking majors. What is this? There's just things you don't know. Seven of swords and a star. What are they trying to? Oh, I, I don't know. Maybe if, if you, like I said, if you feel like this person is sneaky and they have a bad reputation, they may be definitely trying to strategize on how they could heal that, right? Make, it makes some sort of promise to you, some sort of commitment. I have Aquarius, Taurus, water energy with the moon here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I got the lovers with the with Gemini here. It is something this person wants to offer an acknowledgement, but it, there's something that you don't see about all of this because again, this person does have some options, and we have paralyzed. See, yeah, see, work. This, there could definitely be some options that this person needs to make, but they feel like they can't do anything but work. It's almost like one of those things, like I can't do anything but hustle. Something about hustle to make, to fix some sort of problem, right? But I do feel a masculine energy with the Knight of Cups. This is love and adoration and assistance, right? This is lovey-dovey energy here. And I do have someone wanting to express that. Let's go ahead and talk about this in the future really quickly. Baby sharks, take care of your girl with that like, comment, subscribe, share, email me if you want to book me. <laughs> All right, spirit, near future for Pisces. Make it plain for me. What should we expect in the near future? Make it plain for the baby sharks. Near future energy. I hope they come. Oh, oh gosh. We have sex, Pisces. Wow. Not belonging. I hate to put it like that, Pisces, but there could definitely be somebody um, that feels like they're not in a relationship, a physical relationship where they belong in. Re uh, not belonging, refusing to change, stubborn, inflexible, both standing your ground. And then we have sex, bond filled with lust, acting on sexual desires, love or lust. Pisces, there is an energy. I don't know. I am not know why. No, why I'm, Pisces, ugh, I did not ask for this. I don't know why I know this, but in the near future, someone is definitely not sexually satisfied in a the situation. They're feeling like that's not where they belong. I do feel like that's why someone feels like their passion is ignited somewhere else. They have some decisions to make. They're not, yeah, for sure. For sure. And it could be the dark influences. Put it where it goes. Thief. See, there's that waste of time. See, someone feels like they're, some, they're, they're not where they belong. This is robbed, theft, lost, physical, emotional. I definitely feel like there's no love lost in a situation, Pisces. I don't know how else to put it. Fake accounts. This is somebody keeping an eye. Hmm. That's the page of swords. Pisces, someone could definitely be calling themselves. I'm telling you, it's looking like somebody could be saying that they're trying to figure out how they're going to abscond from a situation that they don't belong in. Now, in the past, this could have been a bond that was just filled with lust. And they were just acting on sexual desires. This could be somebody that's looking at that like, was this ever really love or lust? Yeah, somebody could be looking at this like, is this was this ever really love or lust, right? Because they could definitely feel like they were they were robbed here of something, right? But I also feel like Pisces, oddly enough, there's somebody who feel who is definitely. I feel like there is a scheme to try to get out of some place where they don't belong. This could also be somebody who's kind of keeping an eye out on you in a sexual manner or something, Pisces, I, Pisces, near future for Pisces, give it to me, spirit. There's the choices. There's a choice that they have to make. They know their time is not on their side. They risk losing you forever. If they don't, 
fairy tale. They think this kind of love only happens in a fairy tale because to them you're too perfect to be true. I also feel like this person feels like they were sold a fairy tale and and they are somewhere where they don't belong. This is some listen, there is somebody who's kind of keeping an eye out on you, Pisces. They think you're too good to be true. Because they are very attracted to you. Yeah, it's almost yeah, it's almost like because someone is looking at you, Pisces, and they're very attracted to you. But it's not just being very attracted to you. They kind of think that you're kind of too good to be true. Like, I don't know. Let me just say it like this. Someone may think like, I don't know why I'm saying this, but let me just say it. Someone could feel like when they were with you, they could have ruined an opportunity with you because they felt like it was too good to be true, Right. But now they could be looking at where they are and they, and they don't belong there, right? There is someone who has a choice to make. I'm just not sure who it is and you have to put them where they go. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more of the truth here. Roman wild, free spirit, possibilities, trapped, stuck, tied down, captive. Let me tell you something, Pisces. There is someone that feels like in the near future this is not where they belong. I don't know if they feel like they, they got tricked or tr cheated, or if they tricked or cheated themselves. I do feel like there is someone that is making some sort of plan to abscond out of a situation that they're not happy in. Yep. Someone feels like if this is whatever this third party situation is, whatever this dark attach attachment is, they feel like it's someone who is not that is a happiness hater, that hates to see them happy. This person is planning on moving in secrecy and silence and coming towards you. I see this. There's somebody whose imagination is running wild in the near future about you sexually. They want to take the risk. They see the possibilities. They feel trapped, captive, and stuck, and stuck and tied down. And they also fantasize about you. Mm, they, something about the, the, the way they fantasize about you sexually is almost like it's too good to be true. Pisces, I don't know where this is coming from. Let me get one more oracle message and then we'll clarify with some tarot. Y'all take care of y'all girl with the like, comment, subscribe, share. Email me if you're interested in booking. Y'all know what to do. Give me one for this for the near future for Pisces. Anchors, chains, way down. This person is trying to hold down forbidden love. Okay. Uh, Pisces, ooh, we. Let me tell you something. Someone could definitely feel like a a, a fake ass fairy tale situation that they thought they got in. It's not the fairy tale they thought. I mean, a fantasy land and fairy tale. Pisces, in the near future, I have someone who is trying to keep a tight grip on something they are feeling very trapped here. They are feel trapped. They're feeling stuck, tied, capped down, trapped, trapped. They, they, they are. They feel like they in a tragic situation. Dealing with dark attachments or dark influences or third party. Just put this where this goes. This person could definitely be learning some real lessons about Knight of Wands behavior. Right? Because Pisces, you could definitely be giving somebody the energy in the near future like, um, we don't belong together. Right? Because like you could definitely feel like you could feel like somebody is like a knight of wands here and you and somebody could be definitely in their own head trying to figure out how they can change your mind right because if someone knows that you see them as a prickly person there could definitely be somebody stressed out on trying to figure out what justice how could they make things right how could they make you think differently because in the near future i see them feeling very trapped by how you see them right for sure let me, if this person know they got some choices to make, for sure. I do also feel like everything else I see is, so let's clarify. I definitely feel like there's someone attracted to you sexy, very sexually in the near future, Pisces. And I also feel like there could be someone that is in a, in a, in a, uh, if it's a, if it's a third party situation where it's other than other lover, they don't feel like they belong where they are. I don't feel like. I feel like there's not something good going on sexually. They feel like that's not where they belong. See, Eight of Swords. So, Pisces, either this is someone that's all in their head thinking over and over and over about you sexually, or they're in their head feeling trapped in a sexual relationship, but they feel like they don't belong. Look, the chariot. Someone does want to move forward. Can't see any energy. The Seven of Wands is under here. See, I feel like they feel like they're prevented. 
the moon and the ace of pentacles that's what they want to do the chariot the hierophant it could be something about a family a marriage it could be something about career they travel for a career the hierophant and the chariot something about traveling for work hmm give me one more on this eight of swords and sex within your future for Pisces. give me one more the nine of swords well i told you this is somebody in their head i told you the sun and the queen of cups Pisces. it could definitely be somebody um and you know what i don't i don't i don't want to say it like this. i'm gonna say it like this Pisces. somebody could be realizing in the near future that a bond that they took for you that was strictly lust right it, it felt very lust like they were very very attracted to you right sexually right and i feel like this person could have thought that was all that was right and now this person could be looking at things with you a little bit more clearly with the Queen of Cups and the Sun. They could be seeing like now realizing that I love her or Pisces really did love me or I was so happy. Something about that with you, Pisces. The so Sun and the Queen of Cups, I feel like somebody is seeing you differently. They could definitely be stressed out about you seeing them differently. There's someone waiting to communicate with you. I see this. The Sun, the Ten of Wands. They are seeing something clearly about another connection as well. Let's see what this uh, fake account. Some of you, somebody is definitely watching you online. Let's see somebody could just be kind of keeping an eye out on you. Give me some of this fake account energy. Somebody could definitely be realizing that they wasted their time. They could be seeing that somebody who they got with is completely fake and a waste of their time. And they could be feeling like they don't belong there. The Six of Cups. Some of you do have someone that you're familiar with that is still kind of watching. Someone is definitely reminiscing on you very sweetly. Looking back. Even looking at your social media, the nine of pentacles. See, I, I do feel like this is you free, right? Kind of doing your own thing. I don't know why I'm getting this person may definitely feel like with the nine of pentacles and the hangman, they left you hanging, right? Like you you was the one that should have went from the nine to the ten. You have the will of fortune. Something about something changing in due time. Y'all Sagittarius season keep haunting us. Some of y'all are definitely dealing with Sagittarius. Then we got Aquarius. Then we got that Emperor, baby. What? This person is going back and forth. They got some decisions to make dealing with land, property, maybe career. They're going back and forth about taking some sort of financial loss. They're emotional, for sure. They're definitely feeling like they're having to stand their ground and defend an ace of pentacles, a new opportunity. Hmm. Let's get some on these choices that were there in the beginning that's here in the near future there is a choice that they have to make they know the time is not on their side and risk losing you if they forever if they don't give me some for this energy for the near future for Pisces about this choice this choice someone has here look the three of swords and the fool this is definitely a choice to either stay in something that hurts or take a leap and go in a new direction here I'm telling you mm -hmm. I don't know, Pisces. This person could also feel like they made some foolish choices, that they, they leaped into something blindly, and now they're hurting by it, right? For sure, but it's, it could definitely be like with the three of swords. I feel like the choice is the three of swords to stay somewhere where you don't belong or take a leap and go in a new direction here. You could be dealing with an Aries. There's a page of Pentacles. Pisces, you are, you're the high priestess here. You know something. And this entire situation with the nine of wands, it is something that you done been through. You done been through it with this energy, if this is familiar. Now, put it where it goes, because like I said, I, 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 I picked up the energy. I'm just reading for the energy of whoever this, inter this entire read started from, because I, I can see what's going on with this energy. So let's get one for Roman. Wow. Free spirit at risk and possibilities. This person wants to be free. They want to be free. They want to be free to take some risks. They see possibilities in taking risks in other directions. They are stressed the fuck out about being free. I'm telling you that now, because wherever they are, they feel like they don't belong. Let me sign for this. The Ace of Pentacles, I told you. They see an opportunity. They see a, they see an opportunity for a whole new beginning to plant a seed and grow some abundance if they were free, the lovers, and they and they were free to make their own choices. Gemini energy, judgment, the five of cups. This person, the world, this person, I'm sorry, the four of cups. This person could definitely see you as a missed opportunity. They could definitely like it's it's almost be somebody saying, like, I want another chance with you because I missed the opportunity. Like the world make me feel like, I don't know, I don't want to say it like this, but they could almost feel like they had the world with you, right? Or they ready to wrap up some sort of cycle of missing out on something. This person definitely wants some victory and success here. 
Let's get one for this grip. This person, this person does is keeping a tight grip on how they feel about things, but I do feel like they feel this. They feel like they're anchored, way trapped, down, uh, stuck, and trapped. And something that's tragic for them, for sure, because they don't feel like where they're not where they belong. I feel like with this fairy tale, it's feel like they had it really good with you, and they couldn't believe it was so good that they didn't believe. And now they're wherever they are. They want to run. They want to run. They want to be free. Give me some for this grip energy. Who's feeling like this for Pisces? The Ace of Cups. Yeah, this person wants to be free. This person wants a fresh start, a new beginning. Ace of Cups and Six of Cups is here. Look, look, the Eight of Cups. I'm telling you, this person wants to turn their back on people, places, and things that's no longer serving them. The Three of Cups is here. That's that dark attachment. I don't know what it is. Like I said, it doesn't have to be other another lover, whatever it is. It could be kids. It could be family. You know, whatever it is. But I do feel like the Eight of Cups and the Three of Cups is telling me that this is what they want to turn it back. Look, the Six of Swords, they want to move on. This person is really sitting back doing deep introspection and thinking and, and wanting to be victorious and successful here. Yeah, they're ready for some change. And I do feel like Sagittarius season is prevalent here unless you're dealing with one. But it's something about healing something with you, Pisces, the Nine of Pentacles and the Hangman. Yeah, they want to work with you. They do. And they also feel like it's something about, like, um, something about your energy lingering something about you hanging around something about you being really chill then, yeah, there's a lot of kings under here there they go I see some of you got more than one option coming towards you in the near future some of you this may not be nefarious this could not be somebody who necessarily betrayed you they're just realizing this about some situations that they're in and, and this person is coming towards you but I see two kings a king of wands and a king of swords and I see, I see a couple of offers coming in from places that you don't see coming. There's a lot about this that you do not know, Pisces. I'm going to leave it there. But in the near future, there is, a, there is some risk. Some, there are some possibilities. And there is somebody who is getting released from something that's keeping them anchored, chained, and weighed down. you got an Ace of Pentacles and an Ace of Cups in the near future. So put it where it goes. There is some choices. And the choice is, is to either stay in something that hurts with the Three of Swords or start a new cycle. Be free. Start all over. and pack life. And that is someone's choice here in the near future. I feel like they're making a decision. I love you, baby sharks. Make sure you take care of your girl with the like, comment, subscribe, share. Email me for a personal booking and for the love of water tarot at gmail.com. You guys stay beautiful, stay blessed, stay high vibing. And I have a message for us again. Bye, baby sharks.